Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm Hiroto Inoue from Kyushu University in Japan. I'd like to talk about the geodesics and the geodesic equation for the elliptical model. I'm studying uh, this uh, geodesic equation on such a statistical, statistical manifold from a purely mathematical interest. Uh, there is a group theoretical uh, aspect in those uh, geodesic equations on the elliptical model, especially on the normal models. So this is an overview of my talk. First, I show you the previous result for uh, constructing the exp explicit geodesics on the normal model. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll raise a problem regarding on this result. From this point of view, uh, we will reconsider this result and uh, we consider the extension of this result to the elliptical models. So I'll uh, start with the previous result by Ericsson in 1987, which constructed the explicit uh, geodesics on the normal models. So let sim and plus to be the set of n-dimensional uh, positive definite matrix symmetric matrices. The normal model denoted by NN is a Riemannian manifold defined by this uh, coordinate system and this metric. Uh, this manifold itself is a, a direct product of n-dimensional Euclidean space and sim n plus. And this is a this metric is a Fisher information metric defined from a family of uh, normal distributions. So this is a geodesic equation on the normal models. The solution of this equation has been obtained by Ericsson, like follows. So here we have a given any n-dimensional vector x and symmetric matrix B. We define a matrix exponential lambda t by uh, this generating matrix A. This A is defined by B and x. Then we get the uh, block matrix delta de uh, sorry, large delta and small delta using these uh, matrices we define the mu and sigma. Then this curve is a geodesic on the normal model, satisfying this initial condition. So this theorem can be approved by the direct calculation, seeing that this mu and sigma satisfy the geodesic equation. And we notice that the normal model is known to be a homogeneous space. Then we can obtain the old geodesics of the normal mod model by this theorem. Now I like to raise a problem on this result because here the Ericsson theorem, the previous Result is very similar to the case of the symmetric space because all the geodesics on the symmetric space can be obtained from the exponential map. Then uh, we want to give some explanation to clarify the relation between the normal model and symmetric spaces. With the uh, group theoretical study, we also want to extend Ericsson's theorem to the elliptical model. Elliptical model is a statistical manifold defined from a family of elliptical distributions. 
So for the first problem, we take a embedding of the normal model into a symmetric space, sim n plus one plus. First, we notice that the this uh, set sim n plus one plus is a symmetric space by this map. Here, the G is a GN n plus one, and K is a auto orthogonal group. This space G over K has this Riemannian metric. This is a G invariant. And now we put now find subgroup G, GA. This is a subgroup in GLN plus one. This, uh, this is a subgroup defined to be this subgroup. And define a Riemannian submanifold in this symmetric space as the orbit of GA. Then we have this isometry between the normal model and this orbit by this map. In other words, this is the embedding of the normal model into this symmetric space. By using this embedding, we uh, get the simpler expression of the geodesic equation on the normal model. This is a corresponding coordinate. And we see that the Fisher information metric on the normal model is a, a just a restriction of the G invariant metric on this um, space. And uh, this is my small result that the geodesic equation on the normal model can be expressed this uh, simpler equation. And we notice that this is uh, just a linear uh, projection of the geodesic equation on this symmetric space. Now, we can interpret the exchange argument as follows. That, that the given normal model, NN, there is a, this colored map such that this right, left differential equation is mapped to the right geodesic equation on the normal model. And we can say that this is what Ericsson found. And moreover, this colored map is uh, just restriction of the projection between the positive symmetric matrices. So now we consider the extension, the Ericsson theorem to the elliptical model. Now we define the Riemannian manifold E and alpha by G's coordinate system and this uh, metric. Here the constant d alpha is defined from a complex number alpha. Then we see en zero equals to the normal model. So en alpha is a deformation of the normal model. And this is a geodesic equation on en alpha. And this is equivalent to the geodesic equation on the elliptical model. And for this manifold EN alpha, this manifold is also embedded into the uh, symmetric matrices, sim n plus one plus. And we have simpler expression of the geodesic equation on EN alpha as, as well. Uh, the embedding of EN alpha is uh, obtained by this map. And this is a, a simpler expression of the geodesic equation on EN alpha or elliptical model. But in this case, in general, we do not ever construct any geodesic submanifold N such that its projection is EN alpha this is a uh, difference compared with the case of the normal model. Because 
uh, we do not construct this n, then we don't have this lambda t to construct the geodesic on this en alpha or the elliptical model. Indeed, the geodesic equation on elliptical model has not been solved. So, as one of future work, I continue to consider the extension of excellent result to the elliptical model. This is ongoing. At the same time, uh, I'd like to consider to find other Erickson type theorem for general symmetric species. Here is a sketch of the problem. For a projection P on a symmetric space, G over K, the problem is to find the geodesic submanifold N such that the projection on N maps all the geodesics on N to the geodesics on the new manifold Pn. If, if we, once we get such an example of the projection and symmetric space and manifold N, we can obtain the explicit formula for geodesic on this uh, new manifold from the geodesic on symmetric space. So this is what I want to do. So it's, it's all, all. thank you.